Hi, welcome to 7 Facts, the channel where you'll get to discover little known facts about every single country on this planet. In today's episode, we'll talk about the state of Pennsylvania as part of the series dedicated to the United States of America. But before we get into it, I ask you to subscribe to my channel. In return, you'll get to explore the hundreds of videos that are already up, plus two brand new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Pennsylvania became a thing in 1681, and it was actually a grant by King Charles II to William Penn to repay a debt of £16,000, which is about £2.1 million adjusted for inflation. So the name Pennsylvania actually means Penn's Woods. William Penn established a government with two innovations that were much copied in the New World, the County Commission and the Freedom of Religious Conviction. But William Penn never got to become a citizen of America until 1984. He died nearly half a century before the United States came to be. But in honor of his and his wife's contributions to American history, they both were granted honorary citizenship in 1984. Part of Pennsylvania along the Delaware River, together with the present state of Delaware, had earlier been organized as the colony of New Sweden. But the colony later became British and then evolved into becoming one of the 13 original founding states of the United States. It was actually the second state to ratify the United States Constitution on December 12, 1787. But Pennsylvania played a much more historic role in American history. Independence Hall, where the United States Declaration of Independence and the United States Constitution were drafted, is located in the state's largest city, Philadelphia. During the American Civil War, the famous Battle of Gettysburg was fought in the south-central region of the state, and Valley Forge near Philadelphia was General Washington's headquarters during the bitter winter of 1777. Would you live in a burning city? How about one that's been on fire for over 55 years? This may sound ludicrous, but there's actually a place like this, right there in Pennsylvania. It's called Centralia and it has been burning since 1962. What actually happened was that the town's coal mine caught fire underground and there was no possible way to extinguish it. So with a constant supply of fuel, the underground fire has been able to keep on burning to this day and will continue to do so for a long time. Amazingly, some residents actually stayed behind and in fact the town still has a population of 7 people. We've all heard of the Amish, a group of traditionalist Christians known for their simple living, plain dresses and a reluctance to adopt the many conveniences of modern technology. While Pennsylvania is home to the largest population of this community. They didn't come from Netherlands, as one might think, cause by the way, Pennsylvania Dutch is actually a German language, not Dutch. The Amish actually came from Switzerland and were followers of Jacob Amman, hence the name Amish. They came to America for the religious toleration the Union was known for back then, but also to escape religious conflicts, poverty and persecution. And to this day, they are indeed a peaceful and devout people who practice non-resistance to any form of unjust authority and enjoy their simple rural life, manual labor and humility. Legendary Groundhog, Punxsutawney Phil, has been at it for at least 150 years, leaving his mark on history. What am I talking about? Groundhog Day. Yes, this festival takes place in Pennsylvania. According to tradition, on February 2nd, Phil, that's the name of the groundhog, emerges from his temporary home on Gobbler's Knob, located in a rural area about 3 kilometers southeast of the town. If Phil sees his shadow and returns to his hole, he has predicted 6 more weeks of winter-like weather. If Phil does not see his shadow, he has predicted an early spring. 
This festival has been celebrated since 1887 and in fact it's a pagan holiday inherited from the German settlers that brought this old belief from Europe. Abraham Lincoln delivered his Gettysburg Address in Pennsylvania four months after the bloody battle of Gettysburg. Lincoln's little speech, as he called it, lasted only two or three minutes but left an indelible mark on all who heard it and those who would read it for centuries to come. In just over two minutes, Lincoln reiterated the principles of human equality espoused by the Declaration of Independence and proclaimed the Civil War as a struggle for the preservation of the Union sundered by the secession crisis with a new birth of freedom that would bring true equality to all of its citizens. Lincoln also redefined the Civil War as a struggle not just for the Union but also for the principle of human equality. It was this speech that started with the iconic phrase four score and seven years ago. Philadelphia is one of America's most iconic and well-known cities. It was founded by William Penn in 1682 to serve as the capital of his colony, although today Harrisburg is the state's capital. The city is a crucial landmark in American history with many, many US firsts. The first library in America was built here in 1731, the first hospital too in 1751, accompanied by the first medical school 14 years later. The first stock exchange and the first business school were also built in Philadelphia. Even the first zoo was opened here in 1874, and it served as the national capital in 1774. The city contains 67 National Historic Landmarks and is the only World Heritage City in the United States, so yes, it's definitely worth visiting. So these were 7 facts about Pennsylvania. I hope you enjoyed the video and will leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts and comments downstairs and do check me out on Facebook or Twitter. You can offer your support even more by visiting my Patreon page and becoming a Patron. I hope to see you next time. Bye.